You like my hat? How bald do I look? It's because I'm bald. It's like uh, negative 40 degrees this weekend. Negative 40 degrees, you may or may not know, is also known as absolute zero. It's not known as absolute zero, but it's actually where Celsius and Fahrenheit are the same. By the end of next week, it's supposed to be positive 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Emmett's playing Legos behind me. So that's a swing of 80 degrees Fahrenheit in like six days. Think about that, if it was zero on Sunday and 80 on whatever, within a week, that's crazy. Also what's crazy is how crazy cold it is. What I really wanna talk about today is what happened to our dogs. For this I would like to read a speech that I wrote. Don't think that, yeah? Where did Molly and Kirby go? That's what I'm gonna talk about right now. Uh, don't think that just because I'm gonna read this that it's gonna be boring. There is no animal as cute as the fennec fox. Nope, wrong one. What happened to our dogs? If you've watched any of our videos one before... One of them died, Dada. One of them died? Okay, Emma gave it away. If you've watched any of our videos before, you may notice that there used to be dogs. The most popular video on this channel is the one where we bring Molly home called New Australian Shepherd Puppy. Check it out. But if you follow me on Twitter, I'm not very active, so I don't recommend that you do. You might see that my body says this, married to my dear wife, D-E-A-R, thankfully, uh, married to my dear wife at Betsy DeVries. Speaking of inactive, she has never tweeted. I set up a Twitter for like four years ago. I don't think she even has the app actually. Uh, happy father of two sons, that's true, one back here. We have two dogs, and then it says edit, one died. Later edit, we now have no dogs. <laughs> That's right, buddy. So what happened? Well, first we should talk about Kirby. Kirby was a little rat terrier and an absolute she stinker. Died. <laughs> and Kirby and Betsy came as a package deal. She died! Mm -hmm. So I knew Kirby for like seven years. She was about ten Kirby years old. Kirby died! For a rat terrier, ten years old is Kirby not that old. Died. Yeah, she's a little devil of a dog. She could be nice. Uh, where was I? She hated strangers. She was not good with our kids. She bit both of our kids. She bit Leo on the cheek and made him bleed. And Kirby was a complete bully to Molly. Molly went to a new home. So we already had conversations Why about was Kirby's she bully fate. To Molly? She wasn't that nice to Molly, was she? She wasn't that nice to me or Molly. That's the problem. So we were having conversations about Kirby's fate, uh, mostly because she bit our Kirby kid. Died. But it's a fearful thing to end a life. Kirby so we didn't do anything. Actually, we brought Kirby to our family vacation this past summer, and I'm glad we did, because just after that, we noticed something wrong with her mouth, and it turned out her mouth was basically rotting out. It was super gross. That's why she died. Mm-hmm. Surgery would have been too much money, and all those teeth would have been removed, at which point, what quality of life is she really gonna have? She's got a bad attitude already. All her teeth are removed. That's not good, right? What? She was ten and a half, so she didn't have a short life, but still it's hard to put a dog down, uh, so that was a hard day. Here's the last picture that I took of Kirby. She's doing what she loves to do best, or loved to do best, which is just lounge around on the couch. What about Molly? Molly was a beautiful dog, an Australian Shepherd. She turned heads when we walked her. She was smart, she had tons of energy. During the summer, I'd take her on long walks by the river and just let her run off the leash, and she loved it. But with a two-year-old and a three-year-old at home, three-year-old behind me, we really weren't able to give Molly- Molly We're talking about Molly now. Uh, the time and exercise that she needed. And being both smart and energetic, she got bored really easily. And so finally, we thought maybe Molly would have a better die. life somewhere where she could, <laughs> where she could be more active. Uh, thankfully, we found Molly great new owners. Mm -hmm. What are you making? You want to come up and sit by me? Oh, these people—they already had a border collie mix, so they basically knew what they were Molly getting into. Died. And Shepherd. No, she didn't. No, I wanted to see Kirby it Sounds dog. like Mama's talking about Paw Patrol with Leo. Can you go check what they're, are they reading a Paw Patrol book? <gasps> Mom? They love doing outdoor stuff, and they bring their dog along, and the detail that captured it for me, that I knew these people were great, they had their back seat modified to be dog friendly. Back seat of the car was like a dog customized back seat. Where do we get Jeps? Jeps? Yeah, Jeps. I don't know what you're talking about. Jep means that you space off and there's the jet on your back and then you space off. Oh, Jets. Yeah. So these new people, they have been great. We don't really know each other, but they sent us a few pictures and videos of the dogs playing together. That's Molly and their dog. So we know Molly's having a good life. They sent a picture of Molly and her new sister wearing Santa hats in front of a Christmas tree, which is pretty good. So Molly is in a better place. Not like, oh, you know, like a, a real better place, not 
You know what I mean. If there's another dog... Oh, so this is the future. If there's another dog in our future, it probably won't be for a while. And I think I'd like to get a rescue so that it's already kind of calmed down and you know its demeanor. My sister, Jessica, my sister, she has a, a rescue, like, Mastiff dog named Maverick. It's a wonderful, super gentle... Plus, when you get a rescue dog, you know you're doing a good thing because you're saving a dog, giving it a second chance. That's how I went from two dogs to zero dogs, but it does make our home much calmer, which has been much nicer. We still love animals, still love dogs, just not in our home right now. Keep it real. I wrote Emmett's name and he wrote his name underneath. <laughs> his version is cooler because all the letters are there. But it's like, uh... like an Emmett salad. Emmett, can you write it in order? He did write it in order. He already had an M, so he skipped one. <laughs> he did E-M-E-T-T, because -T, he had already drawn that M.